Over the next 11 months, media and police can only speculate where Mas Salamat has ended up. He could be anywhere in Indonesia or even farther away in Afghanistan. But because the security forces fear that Mas Salamat might be planning another terror attack, they cannot afford to forget the elusive fugitive. On the other side of the strait in Malaysia, the police step up the process of intelligence gathering, focusing on Johor. Our operation and inter intelligence collection process is a continuous thing. We have been struggling to, to detect him. Eleven months later, Intelligence Officer Assistant Superintendent Mohammed from the Royal Malaysian Police Counter-Terrorism Department gets a break at last. We didn't get a clue. It's really Maslamat Kastari was hiding in Malaysia until 1st of March 2009, when we arrested another GI member who was supposed to facilitate his escape from Johor to Indonesia. It turns out that Mas Salamat has been hiding under the noses of the Malaysian police for nearly a year. And now, Intelligence Officer Mohammed discovers that he is planning to escape once again and leave Malaysia. The detention of that guy shows some clue, but it is not clear. Until 20th March 2009, when we were tipped off. The tip-off leads the police to a secluded village in Skudai, Johor. Mas Salamat has been tantalizingly close, just 17 kilometers from the Johor-Singapore border. What is amazing is that he has successfully hid in a small village without the knowledge of his neighbors also. And uh, that shows that he is intelligent, he is smart. He is confident that he will get full assistance from his counterpart from uh, uh, Johor. That is why I think he chose Johor as the main place for him to hide. 